13 million people tuned into Thursday night's NFL game between the Dolphins and the Bengals. Football may be more popular than ever, but its dangers are also hitting close to home. Two-star quarterbacks Tua Tonga Bailoa and Dylan Gabriel each suffering concussions this past week, while other athletes are still on the mend. Sam Spengler with more tonight in our story that's new at 9. Both Dylan Gabriel and Tua Tonga Bailoa suffered horrific concussions recently. Tango Bailoas came Thursday after a controversial medical ruling that allowed him to play last Sunday after losing balance against the Bills after hitting his head. Concussions are something Tango Bailoas former St. Louis teammate Jacob Lackadin knows all too well. The former Star Crusader linebacker had a pair of concussions during his college career at Nevada. And that was my first documented one. Um, but like I said, it was, I mean, years prior I felt like that. So, you know, God knows... Maybe I've had it before, you know. The second one came in the first start of his career, forcing him to retire. I experienced insomnia, nausea. I couldn't really eat. I couldn't hold down food. Let's go quick, baby. Let's go. Lackadin comes from a strong family of football coaches and players. He remembers what his trainers told his dad. You know, told my dad, it's not really what we're prepping for, you know, getting him back on the field, but... He, if we kind of promise that if he gets another concussion, it's not going to be really how we're going to evaluate him and get him back onto the field as soon as we can. It's going to be how can we prep him for life because he's probably going to face disabilities, you know? That's the reality for Kealakehe football player Rain Tabandera Martinez. Two months ago, Tabandera Martinez almost died after his concussion was almost diagnosed as heat stroke on the field in August. His mom, an ICU nurse, says she had to help diagnose the brain injury. Well, what would be helpful is... Um... Part of just enrolling in football, like to get that education provided, um, signs and symptoms, and it's everybody's responsibility, you know, not just athletic trainers. It could be for the kids, for them to recognize within each other um, and the coaches. After having surgery to relieve the internal bleeding in his brain, Rain is on the road to recovery, doing physical therapy and starting online classes Monday. The HHSAA says they have doctors at almost every game and athletic trainers at every single football game that are trained in concussion protocol. But as for these helmets, these are refurbished every single year and tested to make sure that they're safe. Sam Spangler, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.